So in this video, we're going to run through a quick review of Nimble CRM and compare it to Leadlaw to see which CRM is best for lead gen and sales. Let's get into it. So this is Nimble CRM, and it's kind of a standard CRM for the most part. It has contacts and companies, right? People, company here. It does get a little confusing because it is very customizable. They have something called workflows here, which are, to me, it seems like a qualification step. Uh, and then at some point at the end of this qualification step, I think the recommendation is that you'd create a deal within that contact or within that company. And then from there, you would hop down to deals and then you'd start tracking deals. So basically it's kind of a two part process. And I'd say this is the biggest difference between Leadloft immediately. If I hop into Leadloft here, you can see we have a pipeline and this is all you manage. You don't need to worry about workflows and deals. And you definitely don't need to worry about contacts, companies, workflows, and deals. You just hop into Leadloft, look at your deals and see what's going on here. If you want, you can drag somebody over, update them. Really simple, really straightforward. It's kind of a straightforward drag and drop pipeline here. And of course, your goal is to move them over to this signed column, which you can customize. You can make it one, uh, you can make it customers, whatever you like. These can all be customized. So it's pretty straightforward for the most part. And the thing with Leadloft is we make it really easy to see who you have to follow up with. So if I wanted to, I can just go to status and click follow up and task due. And now it's gonna show me all of the deals where I need to follow up or a task is due. And again, you can customize how this works in the settings as well. So now I can see a list of everybody I need to follow up with. And if I want to, I can say the owner is me. I can even just save this view now. I can give it a name. I've already created this, but then you can create these views on the left here, like follow up. So whenever I click it, I can see everybody I need to follow up with. And this is the same thing for all my team members. If they hop in and they click follow up, the owner is me, meaning the current user logged in. So they'll see the same exact thing. They'll see all of the deals they need to follow up. So it makes it really easy to track your deal flow. And when you compare this to Nimble, Nimble just gets a lot more complicated, right? You're managing workflows. You're also managing deals. And you're also managing how contacts and companies relate to workflows and relate to deals. So just keep in mind that Nimble is going to be quite a bit more complicated. The next thing here is when you go to outreach. So let's compare the outreach features here. Well, in Nimble, they do have group messages, which is kind of like mail merge. You basically paste a list of contacts here, create a new group message, type them in there, and send an outreach to a bunch of different contacts. The other option is sequences, which you can create a new sequence here. We'll say a welcome message sequence here. We'll click use template. There we go. Let's create it. And that's what it looks like here. Welcome, getting started, conditions, so on and so forth. You can see here it's a bunch of different emails. And if I want to click add, I can add a different step here, add a message. But again, it's just adding email steps. So essentially it's conditions with email and that's it. And if you hop into Leadloft, Leadloft's just quite a bit more powerful when it comes to these sequences. We call them playbooks, but you can open them up here. I can scroll down. Maybe we'll open up VP's outbound playbook here. And see, here's an example. We've bounce shield, which can verify unverifiable or risky emails. Really useful when you're prospecting using Leadloft. We have automated emails, which of course can be personalized. We also have calling tasks and even have LinkedIn automations for LinkedIn connections and LinkedIn messages. And we'll even have texting here pretty soon as well. And one of the big things with this is that Leadloft can actually be used for running outbound sales. So you can hop into LinkedIn here. You can see in the bottom, we actually have Leadloft's Chrome extension installed. We have a couple of options here. I can select a segment, which is like a list, Let's say VPs of sales for this demo. In the playbook, I can also just select the VPs outbound demo. And the way it works is I can find a contact here. And if I want to save them, I just click save. And when I click save, what's going to happen is we're going to find both his email and his phone number, verify it in real time. And then since we have a playbook selected, it's actually enabled our one click engage feature. So when we click save, we're going to find his email, find his phone number, verify it, and then engage him in that playbook all with a single click. So let's go prospect a few leads here for an example. We'll click save, save. Let me F you here as well. We'll go back to Leadloft, refresh that pipeline, and there we go. And we give it a moment, we will be able to find email addresses here. And there we go. You can see Mike here, we found his email. John, we found his email as well. And Chris, we found his email. And you can see it's actually verified, which is indicated by that green dot there. And we just open it up here and get an overview of what's going on. You can see the email has been found. The LinkedIn URL has been added and we're actually engaging them in that playbook. And again, that was all done with a single click. And if you don't want to hop into LinkedIn and prospect a bunch of leads manually, we actually have a feature that allows you to automate this process. I can hop into playbooks, go over to new playbook and click AI prospector. Within this description, I'll just describe who I want to go after. So I'll just say VPs of sales located in SF. We'll click continue here. It's gonna start building an audience in the background. Now the next step is to actually build out that playbook and the steps. 
let's build it with AI because it usually takes quite a bit of time to actually build that. We'll see outbound lead gen. So that prompt says build a playbook with two emails followed by four LinkedIn steps, scatter cold calling tasks in between as well. And our pitch, we'll just say we help generate leads and streamline sales. So our pitch is we help generate leads and streamline sales. We just helped Leadco book 40 meetings in a single week. So you can see I've added in there a case study as well. We'll click generate with AI. And now it's gonna start building a playbook with calling tasks, email steps, LinkedIn steps as well, all automatically in the background and personalizing them as well. So you can see there's bounce show at the top. So we can verify any unverifiable or risky emails. It goes down to an automated email. We just helped Lead Gen Co. book 40 meetings in a single week. Could we do the same for you? Let me know if you're interested. Really simple, really straightforward cold email offering value up front. I would say it's pretty solid if you want. I'd test variations, but I think it's a really strong email out the gate. Calling tasks, follow-up emails, automated LinkedIn connections, etc. It looks really nice. So I'll just go ahead and click use playbook. And here we go. And now if you want to set this live, you just hop up and click start playbook. And within a couple of minutes, it will start prospecting and engaging these leads. And just to explain to you how this works, if I go over here, AI agents are gonna go contact by contact, company by company, seeing if they actually match your description here. If they do match the description, they're gonna save them, verify their contact information, then enroll them in this playbook, all automatically in the background. So it's a really powerful feature if you wanna automate that process of manually researching and discovering new leads. If I hop into Nimble here, they don't have any features anywhere close to that. They have this email outreach, they have tracking and workflows, but it's really not an AI or a modern CRM in that regard. So that's my review of Nimble. When it comes down to it, it's definitely a super powerful CRM. It is very complicated though. Even for me, it's a little confusing on how workflows and deals and contacts and companies all tie together. So if you want a really powerful customizable CRM, it seems like it's a good option. But if you want something that's easy to use, really gonna streamline sales and really focused on generating revenue, Leadloft's obviously the better solution there. But hopefully that's helpful. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me or my team. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.